Ovarian cancer, it's not a nice cancer. It affects far fewer women than breast cancer, but because it's an internal cancer, it's much harder to diagnose. There's no, there's no real screening test. The symptoms are often very non-specific, so by the time it is diagnosed, it's often spread and then the survival is poor. So out of every 10 women diagnosed, only five will be, still be alive five years later. There's a lot of data from lab studies suggesting that aspirin and anti-inflammatory medications might have beneficial effects on cells um, in terms of preventing cancer cells from spreading and growing. There have been some studies in humans, particularly in terms of preventing something like colon cancer, but there was much less work looking at whether it might affect survival but because of its effects on the cells and on the body, we thought it was plausible that it might, and it was worth trying. We used a like, cohort of Australian women who had been diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and we used their data to see if they, those who used these medications and those who didn't, were there any differences between these women. So we found that women who took aspirin either in the year before they were diagnosed with ovarian cancer or in the year after they were diagnosed with ovarian cancer had about 35% better survival than women who didn't use aspirin. 2.5 months increase in their survival in five years, which is, it doesn't sound like a big increase in survival, but for ovarian cancer, it is because survival is really low. If we can show that taking something simple and cheap like low-dose aspirin does improve survival for women with ovarian cancer, then I think it's a big hope for women when they're diagnosed with this horrible disease, particularly women in less affluent countries where they can't afford to spend lots of money on chemotherapy. It's not expensive medication, so I think that's that shows how important this discovery could be. No women should start taking it without consulting their doctor, but I think there's a lot of potential. There are more studies to come, I think, after these discoveries. So really the next step to see if it works would be to do a randomised trial. This was my PhD project. I think I've produced a result that I can say that yes, that it's reliable. Azam did a fantastic job with this analysis. <laughs> I'm very proud. <laughs>